Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Thimbleweed Park. And now we have access to all of Thimbleweed County, guys, um, after photocopying the map, after the sheriff was trying to uh, throw a wrench in our efforts. But let's go ahead and explore the rest of the county. Ooh, there's a map. River, road, trailhead, town, business. And I go, oh, there's the old circus. There's the map of the town, Quickie Pal, the Vista, the hotel, radio station, abandoned factory, trailhead, Edmund Ma- oh, no, no, no. We're gonna go ahead and go to the hotel since that's the closest one. Looks kind of creepy. And I see a speck of dust here. Dust appreciator. You are right. Nothing over here. Walk to country road. Walk to county road. Okay. Well, I guess there's nowhere to go but in. You're investigating here, too? I wouldn't go in there if I were you. What do you mean? Why shouldn't I go in? Because you're probably superstitious and would believe all that claptrap about paranormal activity in the hotel. Paranormal? Really? That's terrible. How serious are the reports? Should I be worried? Uh, given that there's no such thing as ghosts, you'll be fine. What are you doing here? Well, Chuck's brother Franklin went missing a few weeks ago. Is he the body by the bridge? Nope. But this reporter's no says there's something odd about the whole thing. I'm working up a story, but the only lead I have is someone seeing him here briefly a few weeks ago. Another flashback. He was seen around the lobby area. Then he just vanished. Big day today. I'm meeting some promising investors. I know they'll believe in my plan to turn the dying pillow factory into a highly profitable stuffed toy factory. It can't fail. Just gotta check into a room without Chuck knowing about it. He has eyes and ears everywhere. I'll need a disguise. Also need to copy this prospectus so I can give it to the investors and keep my copy. Chuck wouldn't know a good idea if it hit him. Stuffed toys of the future. What luck finding some investors. Better get ready for them. So this is Dolores' dad. Get ready for meeting with investors. Disguise appearance, check into hotel room, get duplicate of prospectus. This is an interesting fountain, I have to say. Words don't do it justice. Yeah. Edmund Hotel. Welcome. And that guy looks really familiar. Why, hello, Mr. Edmund. We weren't expecting you in today. What can I do for you, Abu, sir? Oh, Lord. He says Abu. That music's a bit loud. I'd like a private hotel room. What do you want a hotel room for, Mr. Edmund Abu? To, um, none of your business. I don't know why you'd want a room when Chuckaboo always has plenty of space for you in his penthouse suite. Oh, yeah. I guess so. How else may I be a move of service? Well, we need a disguise to get a new room. Do you have photocopying here? But of course we do, Abu. Abu, Abu, Abu. <laughs> that is to say, we normally do, but uh, we've run out of paper. Unless I get more paper, Abu, I won't be able to help you out. I'm going to go now. You didn't see me. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. I can't talk to him like this. I have to put on a disguise to fool Chuck and his spies. Right. Let's go. Why is that... Annoying, kid. Hello. Hello. Guess he can't hear me. Hmm. Hallelujah. Hey, dude. What's your damage? Yo, dude. Won't you quit playing that music? You're not my dad. You can't tell me what to do. Ah, oh, don't you just love this music? No, no, I don't. Hey, dude, what's your damage? 
Yo, dude. What's that jacket you're wearing? The latest and greatest jacket. It zips in the front. Don't most jackets do that? <sighs> you're too old to understand. I'm getting there. So we definitely need his Groucho Marx glasses. What's on your face? They're the latest and greatest nose glasses from the Jason the News Guy adventure game from Mucus Flem Games. With these on, no one knows who I am. What's on your feet? The latest and greatest Reeboks. I just got them. Aren't they rad? What's with all the latest and greatest? I'm not grody like you. Everyone knows that unless you've got the latest and greatest, you might as well barf. I'm not risking my reputation by touching anything that's not like the latest and greatest. What if I said you didn't have the latest and greatest stuff? <laughs> like barf me out. All my stuff is totally the latest and the greatest. Hmm. I don't I don't think we need Reebok or the jacket. We definitely need the glasses though. Your glasses are not the latest and greatest. These glasses gotta be the latest and greatest, aren't they? Did something newer come out? <laughs> nah, you're wigging. I can't trust a dweeb like you. I would totally know what was the latest and greatest. Oh yeah? I bet you don't know anything about what's the greatest right now in 1987. Prove you're not just an old dweeb from the 50s. Sure, I can prove it. I'm totally bodacious because I can talk like you and... Gnarly dude, got a fly homie, some peeps, groovy friend. Oh, so we need to know our 1980s. Well, you have come to the right gamer. I know this gnarly dude who... was on MTV and... OMG, YOLO. Tells me what's wicked and what'll gag me with a spoon. Whoa! You're legit! I totally believe you know what's tight right now. When you've got something new and sick, I'll trade you. Until then, I'm gonna rock out. Ah, oh, don't you just love this music? So we've got the prospectus. We've got all these prototype pillow bears. Um, actually... Let's give try and give one of the proto bears to him since it's a prototype. It's new, right? Want this bear? Guess he can't hear me. Oh. Hey, dude, what's your damage? Dude, check out this rad new pillow bear. It's righteous, big time righteous. I'll do you a favor and trade you. You do that for me? Oh, sick. Who? What do you want to trade? I'll trade you the bear for your glasses, no faking. Gag me. Your glasses totally make you look like a dweeb. No, duh! Eh, take the glasses then. Quick, before anyone notices I have them! First, here's my used gum for your collection. Uh, I don't have a gum collection. Uh, never mind that. Now give me that bear so I rock it out. Sure, er, dweeb dude, er, gnarlicious, er, I can't keep this up. Let's get this over with. Here it is. Sweet! Your ace! Later, dude! I wonder if it mattered which color we gave him. Well, we got... We got the appearance. A disguise to make my forgettable face even more invisible. Nobody can recognize me now with this foolproof disguise. Nice. It's my precious, dazzling four-page prospectus about turning the pillow factory into a toy factory. I only have the original. I need a copy to give to the investors. It's turned off, finally. Can we pick it up? It only plays that one song, and I've already heard enough of that. And throw it out the window? It's a pillow bear prototype. Turn the plush bear inside out, and you get a plush pillow. Classic pillow bear color. Hmm. Welcome to the Edmund Hotel, most beautiful hotel abu in the tri thimbleweed Park County area. How may I be a boo of service? I'd like to check in. Okay, sir. What's your name abu for the booking? 
Emilio Estevez, Frank Zappa, George Michael, Robert Palmer. Uh, let's rock out some young guns. Emilio Estevez. Of course, Mr. Estevez. We have a lovely suite abu for you on the third floor. Your suite has been fitted with the new state-of-the-art abu Hotel Tron 3000. It's such new technology, Abu, that we're still fitting out the rooms on the 10th floor. How else may I be Abu of service? Is there any surveillance in the hotel? No, certainly not, Mr. Estevez. Whoa, we have our state-of-the-art Abu Hotel Tron 3000 system, which creates a VHS video of your entire stay with us. Sounds like surveillance to me. Yeah. How much, you ask? For just $19.99, you get a unique record of your trip highlights to share with friends, Abu, back home. It's such a new system that we're still installing it on the 10th Abu floor. Since you won't want to miss a second of your amazing Abu stay here, we recommend that guests do not visit the 10th floor. I'm going to look at my, I mean, your beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. So let's go ahead and check out the 10th floor. If we know there's no surveillance. Can we actually, wait a minute. Can we go to all of these? P was the, oh, G loves E. And we're on floor 10. That's weird. I swear I pushed the penthouse button. Must be broken. Okay, that was weird. Go to the hotel room, get more photocopy paper, or papier. Where are we? Oh! Ballroom door. It's locked. It's a door to the hotel room ball and an event space area. So this must be where uh, ThimbleCon's going to be when we get back to the... Back to current time. I'm not thirsty. Should we go ahead and go to our hotel room or check out... The doors are closed. Hmm. Let's check out the 10th floor first. I kind of want to check all the floors now. That's a pretty fast elevator, in 1980s terms. Walk to standard TV? It's an unplugged TV. I don't want to pick that up. It's a photo of a perfectly clean standard room. It's a photo of a perfectly clean deluxe room. Hmm. Ah. It's a photo of a clean standard hotel room. And we can't actually look it. And all the doors are open. I guess they're installing all the new things. Hello? I actually, are all of them like this? That's creepy. Well, let's, uh... use the switches here. Bed, radio, TV, stationery. Oh, there's some paper. It's a mostly blank piece of paper with a hotel's letterhead. Awesome. I wonder if that's everywhere. Looks like the other painting. Toilet paper, toilet lid, mirror. Are we gonna have to use all this stuff? Is it the same everywhere else? Well, let's see if we can use this paper. I'm hoping. Hotel, look at key card for hotel room 309. Welcome back to the Edmund Hotel, Mr. Estevez. 
How may I be a boo of service? This may have been what he was doing before he became sheriff. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to we gotta give my, him the I mean, paper, don't your we? Your beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. Could you use this as photocopying paper? What a great idea, Abu. That will do nicely. To photocopy my prospectus, I need to give him four pages in total. If that's all, I'll get back to my duties. Oh. Okay. Well, back up to the uh, tenth then. Elevator go up the hole. Elevator go down. Elevator stop. Okay, pick up stationery. We need oh, three more. Uno más. Should be enough. Elevator go down. At least it's got some perfect uh, elevator music. Okay, give. Here's some more paper for photocopying. That should be all the paper, Abu, I need. What would you like to photocopy? Glass of water. This prospectus document. Sure thing, Abu. Well, that's all I need. I'll be back in a jiffy, Abu. As long as you don't look at it. One task done. Now I should go to my room and prepare. Disguise. Everything's good. Let's head to room 309. Three oh four, three oh five, three oh nine. Oh, look at that surveillance. Hello. Yes, only on Tuesdays. Yes, I'm almost ready for our meeting. I've just got to wrap up a couple more things. I'll call you back when I'm ready. What's that monstrosity? A Hoteltron. Chuck must have had them installed recently. I'll have to find a way to stop it recording my meeting. Oh, that's easy. You go ahead and use the bubble gum right on the camera lens. <laughs> it's a camera that appears to be filming the room constantly. Chuck's eyes are everywhere. I don't know how people put up with it. Okay, call investors, disable surveillance. I guess the gum didn't work? That doesn't seem to work. Hmm. Ah, the standard room. Is this a deluxe room or a standard room? Waiting. What was that? I guess it was nothing. Looks like the Tron machines are working perfectly. No reaction. Perfect. Now Chuck will have no idea what I do in my meeting. I'm finally ready for that meeting. Better give the investors a call to let them know they can come up. So he had eyes everywhere and he's watching everyone. That's creepy. You can come up to my room now. I'm ready. Back to being plain old Franklin. That was quick. Oh, it's you. How did you know I was here? Oh. Franklin was never seen again. Crap. You got tased. I asked the sheriff for more information, but there was nothing. No body, no Franklin. Some of the more superstitious types claim he's haunting this hotel. But those of us dedicated to fact-finding know that must be poppycock. That's an interesting story. 
So, oh, I, this is around the same time, so it wasn't that far back of a flashback. So he probably does all the things. Of course, we'll all, maybe probably find out that there actually are multiple people who look like the sheriff. But you didn't answer my original question. Why are you here? I see I can't fool you. If you ever want to switch professions, we need reporters like you. Huh. That still doesn't answer my question about why you're here. Okay, okay. I was following up on a report that Franklin checked in here under a pseudonym. Finally. A pseudonym? What was it? All I could find out is that a man with a large nose was seen around the same time as Franklin. And? That man checked in under the name Emilio Estevez, so it may not have been Chuck's brother. <laughs> okay. What room did the man with the large nose check into? It was a room on the third floor. I couldn't find out anything more without a shiny official badge, like you have. So Franklin's dead as well? No one knows for sure if he's dead. Isn't it a great time to be a journalist in Thimbleweed Park? One missing, a mystery body, and Chuck died of a heart attack. Did you find out the identity of the body in the river yet? Hmm. We're not telling the press anything until his family is notified. Respectable feds? Interesting development. Why is it so hard to get information from you? Let's call it a job interview. <sighs> As I've said, I need good reporters so I don't have to run all over the county. I don't have time to be a newspaper reporter. Fair enough, but you know where to find me. Might be a good backup profession. What's new in the news? Uh, just a bunch of reports about paranormal activity here at the hotel. I don't give them much credence. Thanks for all the information. See you later. If you find out anything publishable, stop by the nickel to let me know. Might be a good time to call the pigeon plumbers if we're doing with uh, uh, paranormal stuff. And there's no music. Hallelujah. That to-do list just keeps getting bigger. Now we'll talk to the manager here in a sec. Wait, Thimblecon's upstairs. It's locked. Aw. Okay. Welcome to the Edmund Hotel. Most beautiful hotel abu in the Tri-Thimbleweed Park County area. How may I be a boo of service? You look awfully familiar. Have we met before? I don't believe a boo so. Well, there you go. <laughs> Is anything going on in the hotel today? Nothing, Abu. Certainly not more cases of food poisoning. Definitely not, Abu. Do you know what happened to Franklin Edmund? Huh, I saw him, but I don't know, Abu, what happened to him. Funny thing, Abu, though. Go on. That same day, a man with a large nose, Abu, checked in and then disappeared. You don't say. That is an odd arena coincidence. What room did he check into? Oh, let me see Abu now. It was a Mr. Emilio Estevez. Yes. He checked into a room, Abu, on the third floor. I'd like that room key for our investigation. I'm not sure I should do that without a warrant, Abu. But since there's nothing to see there, I suppose, Abu, I can give it to you. Thank you. Finally. How else may I be a boo of service? That, that's enough of that. I'm going to check out your beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. Now, is that boombox still there? I didn't even check. Photos of the construction of the hotel and past employees. Photos of the construction of the hotel and past employees. Ah. We couldn't, I don't think we were able to look at those earlier. So let's head to the third floor. Look at victim's key card for 301. Uh-huh. We need this one though. The runaround is strong.
Whoa! There is a bear toy, though. Hmm. Wait a minute. This- I used the wrong key card. This is the one for the body. The label says Pillow Bear. The toy that can be turned into a pillow. Oh, okay. That's going to be interesting, guys. I'll tell you what, we will go ahead and explore this and also Franklin's key card, our room, in the next episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.